Okay, this next one. It is from Am I the Asshole? And it's titled, Am I the Asshole for Telling My Wife It Was a Mistake to Stay at the Baby Shower? So my wife, 26 female, and I, 28 male, have been married for a year and began trying to conceive in September. No luck so far, but the doctor did say at our first appointment that it typically takes close to a year for most couples to conceive. She's been telling people that she's infertile, which isn't true. Doctor said she isn't. My wife and I went to my work Christmas party in mid-December, where my wife met my coworker's wife. Let's call her Mary, and they took a liking to each other. Mary was pregnant and invited my wife to her baby shower, which was yesterday, and my wife sounded so excited to go. I asked her when we were alone if she thinks she'll be fine. I know my wife, and I know what typically bothers her. I know she wouldn't bask in happiness over someone else's pregnancy, so I urged her to think it through. She said she's fine, and she was excited, so she went. The baby shower was yesterday. About 40 minutes in, she calls me and asks me to come. I was at a cafe nearby because I knew she wouldn't stay long. I find her at the entrance of the house crying and a bunch of women consoling her. When she saw me, she came to me and pulled me to the garden to talk. She said she was dancing and looked at Mary's pregnant belly and couldn't take it anymore, started crying and ran out. All of Mary's friends followed her out to console her. I consoled her myself and said, okay, let's go, babe. What do you want to go do? We can go for a drive so you can feel better. She looked at me weird and asked why she would leave. I asked, why would she stay? She said, I'm getting attention. (laughs) She said she feels better now and can go have a good time. I sighed and said, babe, you know that's not going to happen. And I doubt the attention will be on Mary after this. And that's not great. It's her baby shower and she deserves to be celebrated. I can't see how people are going to shift their focus from consoling you to celebrating her if you're still here. She rolled her eyes at me and said she was going back in and that I could leave. Three hours later, the party was nearing its end, so I go back to pick her up. My coworker and I stepped into the house, and lo and behold, everyone is sitting in a circle with my wife being the center of attention. Oh, God. Coworker looked for his wife, and she wasn't there at all. He called her and she said she had left ages ago. My wife and I entered the car and I first asked her how she was feeling and we spoke about it for a few minutes. I then asked her what happened and why Mary left. She said, oh crap, Mary, I forgot to say bye to her. I told her Mary left ages ago. I then said, I know you're going through a hard time, but why on earth would you and her friends do this? If they consoled you for a few minutes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But the entire party... We really should have left earlier. Yeah. She looked at me so offended and said, are you Mary's husband or mine? (laughs) We stared at each other for a while and just drove home in silence. I told her I want to talk to her this morning to sort things out, but she ignored me and left the house. God, we're on a streak of mean woman right now. (laughs) Gotta make it fair. Yeah. Gotta make it fair. True. Oh, I will never understand people that need to make things completely about themselves Mm. all the time. Yeah. Are you so uncomfortable letting other people have just a moment of recognition and happiness and center of attentionness? Well, you know what? What I don't understand is how can you not feel bad about that? Like, Even when I'm talking to a friend about something that they're going through, like a hard time, and then as, you know, I'm trying to relate to them, so I tell them something I'm going through or, like, went through that was similar, Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I realize, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm putting it too much on me, and then I instantly want to put it back on them and be like, let's, you know, whatever, talk about you. So I just don't understand how you can have the mentality that you just, like, get off by going into somebody else's party that they paid money for that their friends showed up for that their biggest like one of their biggest moments the most exciting moments for them and just decide that you want to take that all away from them and that you're like happy about it too you know it's different if that's an accident because that happens like we all have emotions Mm -hmm. but like the husband said it should not have been the whole party no come on well and so he dropped her off went to a cafe and she called him and so 
that was already probably about 40 minutes in. So then they talk. So it's about an hour in, okay? Which any rational person would be like, yeah, you're right. It's Mary's time. I'm going to say goodbye and let's go. Mm -hmm. Like, it's understandable to be upset if you're really trying to conceive and you have yeah. these other people celebrating right. happy moments like that. Yeah, you might be a little jealous. You might feel bad about your your right. struggle, your whatever's happening. But have the self-awareness and the decency to say, this isn't about me. Mm -hmm. She should be celebrated. She should be able to have this day. You're right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. But instead to be like, no, I'm going back in. Yeah. I wonder if she was wasted too. Because that could be part of it. I don't know. <laughs> Do people get hammered at baby showers? Fuck yeah. Really? I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. The lady that's being celebrated can't drink. So it's like, I feel like... Have I been to a baby shower? The ones I've been to, people don't. There's like maybe champagne but that's yeah i guess out limited. of respect because it's like the person you're celebrating can't drink i know interesting hmm. that's a, maybe that's a debatable hot topic yeah that's about an hour right the first meltdown hour mm -hmm. husband comes back to get her three hours later so she has made four hours about herself i'm gonna tell you right now like i know i have good friends in my life because if I was Mary in this situation and some bitch came in trying to hijack mm -hmm. my baby shower and was crying, mm -hmm. I know for a fact, you and Alejandra, you'd comfort her initially. Yeah. And you'd be like, okay, like, I'm so sorry you're going through this. Like, let's right. call your husband. Let's get you out of here. And then after maybe about an hour, oh, but for yeah. sure by hour number two. Oh my God. Way before that. You guys would walk over to me and you'd be like, what the hell yeah, what is wrong with this woman? We need to get her out of here. <laughs> you guys would be rolling your eyes with me. I would be, I think what I would be like, because given I don't know who she is and the circumstances and mm -hmm. I don't know how like stable or what's going on in her life, I'd be like, we need to find someone else that can help her out because we want to focus on you. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be like, where the fuck is her husband? Or like, where the fuck is her, you know, whoever. Partner. Friend. Anyone. Mom. Fun dad. Friend. Dog. Let's get her a dog. <laughs> get her dog. <laughs> Little mini pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, something cute. So the top comment on this one. Not the asshole. Your wife turned someone else's celebration into her own pity party to the point that the guest of honor left her own shower and doesn't realize she did anything wrong. Do you really want to have a child with a woman like that? Well, it also depends on how many times this happens. Like if this if this is part of her character. Character flaw. Yeah. Right. But if it's like she's literally just going through it and it's a bad day, it's still shitty. Like she should apologize. But, you know, I don't... I don't know what she's going through. But she's also lying to people and saying she's infertile when she's not. That's true. Maybe she just thinks that she is. The I doctor explained, if your husband can understand it, why can't you? That's true. She seems like a person that really loves to attention. be the center of attention. Yeah. I think you nailed it when you said that. Yeah. I really do. For sure. So with this story, it was posted about 10 days ago. We already have an update. Oh, shit. There's a lot of comments from OP. I'm not really going to get into them. The one I do see that's, of course, standing out to me now is like, OP, who is she telling that she's infertile? What do you say slash do when she says that? Mm -hmm. And um, then someone goes, why did you predict her bad behavior so well? Which is true, which kind of answers the question, like, is this her usual thing? Like, how did he know this would happen? Yeah. And so OP goes, I didn't predict that she would cause a scene. I told her to rethink going because I was trying to save her from feeling bad. She tends to get bummed out when other people achieve things that she hasn't yet. She was bummed out when her little sister got engaged before we did, but she didn't cause a scene at any of the parties or at the wedding and put up the whole happy for you act quite well. She would only speak to me about how she was feeling when we were alone. If you had told me a few months ago that she would pull this, I would have laughed and said no way. Mm. So update. Mail's here. Mail's here. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Is that from Blue's Clues? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I love Blue's Clues. Bow, bow, bow. That's that's pretty good. I I practice. Well, I was gonna say, oh, it's because you practice Tigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it. I haven't practiced in a while. Come on, I haven't practiced. Just try. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's hard. <laughs> Update. So I texted my coworker. Let's call him Frank. Well. Let's call him Frank and asked if we could talk. So we met up during our lunch break. I apologized for everything that happened. 
He kept telling me it's fine and being so nice about it, and that kind of made me feel worse. He said he has booked Mary a ticket back home for a week and that her sisters and friends were going to surprise her with another baby shower. Mm -hmm. I asked if he'd mind my wife and I paying the expenses of the baby shower that they were going to throw. Wow. He laughed and said no way, but that he appreciated it. We went back and forth a bit, but he eventually said he'd ask his sister-in-law how much she spends on everything and then would let me know and we can pay half of it. I spoke to my wife when I got home from work. She apologized for ignoring me and said she doesn't know why she behaved like this. She said she is embarrassed and she can't bring herself to come to terms with how she behaved. We also spoke about the infertility thing. She said she thought her saying it out loud and discussing it with people would make it easier for her mm -hmm. if she found out she was actually infertile. Interesting. Because she would have come to terms with it. Right. Wow. I don't get it, but hey. At least she didn't dodge accountability this time yeah. and did acknowledge that it's wrong and that she needs to stop. It's slightly worrying to me how she sounds like a completely new person so often lately. Hmm. Almost like there are multiple versions of her who don't know each other. I said I'm glad she now realizes it's wrong and asked her to send flowers or something with an apology note to Mary's house. I also mentioned that I offered to pay for the next baby shower and she told me to insist that she pays it all and not half. I said I'm fine with splitting it. She also said she would bake a cake and go to Mary personally to apologize. I told her Mary is leaving town for a week, so that we'll have to wait until she gets back. But she did send a lengthy text with a sincere, in my opinion, apology. Hmm. Mary responded saying my wife didn't need to apologize and that she understands what happened and thanked her for attending her baby shower. Mary also apologized for leaving without saying goodbye to my wife and the rest of the guests. You see how nice Mary and Frank are? Jesus Christ. Oh, he said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided on both individual and couples therapy soon. Anyone know if it's okay to do them simultaneously? She wants to, but I'm not sure it's a great idea. It was a given that we would stop trying for a baby, so that's definitely on hold for now. So yeah, that's it for now, I guess. I've never been to therapy, and neither has she, so I'm hoping this is the beginning of our relationship getting much healthier and our individual growths as well. Thank you so much to everyone who responded. My mind is blown by how many of you did. Hope you all have a great year. Wow. That's great. Happy ending. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And th then there you go. I made a comment about that. Like, is this, I mean, given he didn't say this is like a one-off behavior because apparently she keeps acting in ways that are not, are conflicting with the new her or whatever he said. But yeah. still, it's good to know that she also was able to reflect and be like, the fuck did I just do? Yeah. And, like, she is going through a traumatic time, so. Yeah. I mean, obviously it wasn't right, but I'm just saying it's it's always really good when you hear that can, somebody can reflect on their wrongs. Yeah, I don't, it's just goofy. Like, you're not infertile, and it takes time. Like, there's literally how much of a window for you to get pregnant. It's, like, during this window of the day that you ovulate. And it's, like, it's honestly a miracle that people get pregnant. Like when you think about it, where it's like, yeah. oh, I just, you know, I had a one night stand and I got knocked right. up and it's like, what are the odds? Right. <laughs> what are the chances? It's just, it's really mind blowing for me. But yeah, I, I think this is a happy ending. Mary sounds like a fucking saint. Love her. Mm hmm. I wouldn't let them pay for any of my baby shower. I would just like want to be so done with her. Right. I and know. Because not... you wouldn't want to have any type of like, what's it called? Yeah. I'm holding this over your head. Yeah. 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 But something that you said, what I was comparing it to when she made the comment that she's been telling people that she's infertile to get used to it, even though I don't agree with that at all, but I'm kind of comparing it to not telling somebody when you're pregnant for X amount of time. You know what I mean? Like, cause we've had this conversation before and people are kind of, you know, everyone has a different view. Pe mm -hmm. Some people want to tell like the minute that they're pregnant. Some yeah. people want to wait until they know that they're like past like the, you know, risky time, the risky time. So even though it's like, you shouldn't lie to people, but that's what I'm thinking her brain was doing. Yeah. By trying to prepare herself for like the potential blow. I get that. And I'm, it just annoys me that she's almost doing it for attention and sympathy. And then mm, kind of true. just, and this is like speculating, but based on this behavior, 
I think she would be the person that does get pregnant and she's like, it's a miracle. Yeah. I wasn't infertile. God, right. this is just a little miracle, baby. Yeah. And that's not right either because there are people that really do struggle with infertility yeah. and getting pregnant and they do have miracle babies. So it's like, it just feels like another ploy, but I don't know, mental health struggles and yeah wanting kids the desire to have kids and yeah it makes people do she might have grown up in some like bridgerton family where they're like this is the only important thing your worth is tied to being a mom and a good wife yeah but all i can say is that i mean we all agree that the way she acted was fucked up however (laughs) it's always nice when you hear someone can reflect and apologize and own up to their wrongs so whatever's going on in her head whatever she does moving forward Let's just end on the fact that we're happy that she she got that far. Yeah. <laughs> There's some growth there. Yeah. 